If you remember, a couple of weeks ago I made a Delta robot out of meat, out of beef jerky and hot dogs and stuff, and I posted it right after HeboCon and uh, within a couple of days uh, found out that there was this Jack Lynx uh, promotional thing going on between Make and them, and they're looking for people to like make weird, interesting, quirky things out of their products. So uh, I applied and they uh, they were very interested in my uh, neon brown meat robot, so I'm making one specifically for them. Long story short, they're, they're filming me tomorrow, and they've sent me a crap ton of meat! So, uh, this is... <laughs> these are my materials f uh, for the building of the special meat delta, which is gonna involve a lot more of the actual meat piece jerky versus the sausage type jerky, but I'm creative, I can handle that. In fact, I'm probably going to make one arm, like, as a proof of concept, and if that works, then I'm just gonna make the rest for the camera crew tomorrow morning. Um, I don't know. Uh, we'll see how this ends up working out, because I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never done this before. What else was I gonna say? It smells like meat in here. Like, it, I'm finding it very challenging not to just eat all of these pieces, because, I don't know, I'm kind of hungry and it smells salty. And I love salt. It's gonna get freaky. I should go eat some guacamole. Hi, this is Sarah, and I am currently at Sin Shop. So, uh, in another second, I'm gonna start spilling uh, the bags of meat that Jack Link sent me in the mail onto this tray right here, and I'm gonna start picking out the optimal shaped slices that I can potentially turn into the arms for my robot. Uh, there aren't very many flat, like, I don't know, rigid, flat strips of meat in this giant pile of stuff. They're all kind of gnarled, and I'm hoping that this small pile that I've got here is enough. I'm going to start cutting these into strips, and then I'm going to hole punch with this heavy-duty hole punch, some, like, stitching holes in the stake, and then I'm going to try and thread the pieces together with these toothpicks. So here's, like, a nice, long, flat strip. It made a hole. Yeah? Meat hole? how this is any stranger than any other day out of my life. It just, I don't know, the fact that I'm sitting in our hacker space by myself punching holes in beef jerky is just something that I've actually never done before. I don't even know. Do multiple holes. You can never have enough holes. That's what my mom always told me. Uh, <laughs> so I tried to make little meat rivets with the the stick the toothpick things so i tried to kind of like like hole punch the meat with the hole puncher and then like kind of stick these stakes in them to kind of like wedge pieces together and to create like arms but the the overall texture of the meat is too wavy and like there's too much sinew and fat and stuff going through the, the actual like grain of the meat uh, that it doesn't really hold together very well. So even though I kind of sort of got one piece, for me to get six of these and then mount them to a Delta robot and pray to God it doesn't explode the moment that I turn the robot on is just, I think, a little bit too much to ask at this point. So um, I have no idea what I'm going to do with all this meat that I just cut up. Mm -hmm. 